Hello and welcome to Queendom TV and today we're going to be talking about holly weird child exploitation of none other than Jojo. So for those of you who don't know what's going on, um, I've been teasing that I'll be doing a little Jojo series and I've started making some videos now talking about her because she's been through a lot. So I'm taking you guys along my journey as I'm doing the research. Shout out to, my, shout out to you know who you are because you sent me so many great things. I'm literally just using everything you sent me to get myself up to date with what's going on. So yeah, definitely check out the playlist to hear more. Today we're going to be talking specifically about the fact that, um, you know, Jojo got into um, the entertainment industry very young. In fact, her song, Get Out, um, Leave, Get Out, was actually, um, she actually, uh, what should we call it? She went number one with that, 13 years old. 13 years old and that's why I'm calling this child exploitation because I was shocked I was shocked to discover how young Jojo was like I was a Jojo fan I say was only because she, I've not seen so many of her like more recent stuff but I always thought she was really good she sounded very adult and this is kind of what I'm talking about is the problem here because I feel like there's a tendency in the industry for people to literally find somebody and use them and from what I can see from what I'm understanding this far it seems like because they gave her that song, right? Like, it had already been written, because she said specifically, you know, she wanted to do more, like, soulful music. That was more her vibe. Again, it's weird, kind of similar kind of vibes to, like, Jesse Nelson, who wanted to do R&B and, like, 90s music and stuff, but was being kind of pushed to do pop as well, obviously, with Little Mix. Same thing happened with uh, Jojo, where <clears throat> she was given this song. Obviously, she did really well. She's got a really great voice. Um... But it's a really adult song. Like, get out right now. It's the end of you and me. Like, like, do you know what I mean? Like, you're having a full-blown adult relationship, like, where you're, like, living with your partner. Like, it's pretty extreme. And I feel like, you know, it just goes to show something that we've always said. And she also said herself, you know, how much these stars are really just products. And I talked about this with Jessie as well. Unfortunately, Jojo just said it as if, like, this is just the norm and this is just what it is, you know, that in the industry you're just a product. And I don't believe it should be that way. I don't believe it's something we should accept because there are long-term consequences for that. And when you're 13 years old, it all sounds like fun and games being a pop star, a superstar, whatever. But when you get into adulthood, even if you've had a good deal or whatever, there starts to be issues. And I've been talking about Billie Eilish a lot and how, you know, for her, I feel like she's in dark, she's getting, she's in quite a dark place now. And a lot of it, I feel like is because of being so famous so young, you know, going through so many things so early, having to be so mature so early and the, the, the effects of that in, in later in life and I think that's something that happens a lot but for Jojo well you know um for her this the story is crazy right it's crazy um she actually they actually moved her specifically to New Jersey because due due to the fact that child labor laws are being were easier to get around there again so people say stuff like oh don't they have laws to protect children and to protect young people in the entertainment industry or whatever? Yes, but guess what? As I always say to you guys with the law, with the, about the legal system, people look for loopholes. That's what lawyers are. You might as well take out the word lawyer, change that for loophole finder. That's what, you see these big ticket, you know, attorneys and stuff that people hire for these big cases. You know why they're spending so much money? Because that person is going through all the legislation to try and find a little loophole and a way around what's already there to be able to still do what they want to do. And so this is an example of those kinds of loopholes where obviously she was young. Obviously, these laws are there in for a reason. Now, to me, the fact that she is a child would say, whether the laws are stricter here or not, let me just out of sheer morality, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like protect this child as opposed to let's do this to get around laws give her a really adult song I mean she did really well and everything but again I feel like a lot of things for the fact for the reason that she did this so young I feel like there were a lot of um things that went downhill as a result of that and one of those things being of course the fact that like you know when she first got signed with the label or whatever um they actually put her and her mum up in an apartment I think she said it was the first time she'd ever had her own room and the label felt like a family so you've got a mum who's probably doing her best to get by. They seem like they didn't really, they weren't like massively rich. They were just doing what they could to survive. 
the mum, and then you've got her who wants to be a singer. She said she used to sing to everybody, anybody that would listen. Um, again, industry takes advantage of the fact that people are in a desperate situation. Oh, well, how's you? Yeah, we feel like family. Guys, if you don't know what's going on with Jojo, as I'm also learning, it's bad. So stick around for the stuff that happens because I'm telling you, these people were certainly not family. And if they were, the type of family they were were the type of family that Britney Spears had, okay? And um, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, yes, I wanted to talk about her mum. Because one thing that she said about her mum, and this is the problem I have with young people having to grow so soon, is sometimes what happens is that young people end up maturing so fast as adults that they end up having to look after the adults in an, on an emotional capacity. And this is what happened with her because eventually she, she said everything that was happening and how it was all going, um, it took a toll on her mum. And so in the end, she had to fire, but essentially fire her mum, like not for her mum doing anything wrong, but just because it was getting to her mum, you know. And again, this is something that I've noticed is very common where you have a, a, a situation where children are having to mature more than they should be expected to be at that age and having so much responsibility that they really end up taking that place of that person whereas you know the fact that normally it's you know parents are supposed to be providers and I don't necessarily have an issue with you know child stars you know um being providers for their family provided <laughs> that they are being treated at the only at the level that they deserve to be treated as a child you know and they're not being expected to mature too quickly I really feel like even her mum letting her do that song again I don't know what um the contracts were because as you guys know about contracts check out the contracts playlist don't need to say more do I uh those con the contract playlist um we don't know what the contract said so there could be things in the contract that they maybe already signed to maybe the mum wasn't happy maybe that's part of the reason I'm gonna find out because as I said I'm going through the research kind of as I'm making the videos I'm researching at the same time I kind of like to do it that way because it means that like we all go on a journey together and um I like that you know um but uh what was I gonna say so uh brrr. yeah it, you, there's always this thing of where like the child ends up becoming like the parent and then the child ends up being the one having to like internalize all their feelings whilst the parent kind of takes a toll on them. And so in the end, obviously, she's fired her mum, which is probably the best person she needed to keep, you know, to actually have somebody looking out for her. And when I say fire, like fire is such a strong word, you know, obviously let her mum go to protect her mum. But it's like, why is a mum having to be let go to protect her younger daughter? Like, you know what I mean? And I get that, you know, different people are born with different, you know, levels of capacity to deal with stuff but I also do feel like you know <clears throat> if it's so much for her mum then really they should both be stepping away and I feel like there's a tendency because a lot of um young people in the entertainment industry are so capable there's a tendency for people to um treat them so much more as adults and for them also to just rise to the occasion you know which is a bit of a shame I think you know because I always say this, that like, you know, I really believe it's like how the Bible says, don't awaken love before it's time. Right. Certain things are always inside of us that are cap that we're capable of of presenting to the world in a given situation. Right. And but the idea is that as you go through childhood, you're protected from you opening certain doors too early. Right. Because otherwise you won't get to enjoy the fullness or experience the fullness of being a child and you mature too fast that's why you have a lot of children who they say oh wow she matures she, she matured so quickly she's so mature for her age a lot of times that's good but some a lot of times that's also bad because a lot of times it means that you've got young people who have had to deal with things above what they should have to deal with and the consequences they always come back after the fact in one way or the other you know whether that be obviously in her case she as a child was massively ignorant of course so is her mum and not the fault of her mum in terms of being an adult at all I think the entertainment industry as it is has been very evil in ways people didn't really understand for a long time um but you know um being caught up in that industry doing what she has to do at such a young age um it's detrimental you know and so it's really sad to me that at 13 like people were just going along with this like how many people and it's like what I always say how many people were around just seeing this how many people were hearing these lyrics Seeing this 13-year-old girl and saying nothing, putting these ideas into her head, she's having to sing it. You know, like when you sing and stuff and when you're like performing something, you have to get into that vibe. Like, why are we 
we wonder and we wonder why like we look today at 2022 why so many young people are depressed why so many young people are going through so much why so many young people think they're adults why because so many of them have been made to be adults in a lot of ways and this is something the industry always does they love to get artists when they're young they love to get artists when they're young and because they're easily moldable naive ignorant they'll do whatever you say and by the time you've made as much money as you're as you're going you want to make out of them and you're ready to move on to the next one they're now old enough now to realize that what you're doing is unfair but guess what you're done with them anyway and it's like i said in my other video about the music business strategy use abuse dispose but then here's the thing when you're the one who's left over you've got a whole situation a whole mess and i mean there's so much we're going to get into guys of all this jojo stuff because like just this label and how dodgy they were, all this music that we've never heard of, why she's not making, like, there's just so much to get into. So if you guys want to hear more about this, definitely check out the videos. I'm going to try and not make them too long um, and try and do things per topic so that if there's certain things that you want us to hear about, you can. But I just feel like we've really got to stop, you know, pushing children. Um, I feel like it's not, it's not coming from a place of like, oh, I want to give them an early start. It's more coming from a place from how can I take advantage of this young person? How can I take advantage um and expose and from the naivety even the fact that you know they, they put the mum and her her mum and her like in an apartment it's like we're helping you now it's all of these like to me like subliminal messages of like you need us you need us and therefore because you need us and we're doing everything for you it's going to be hard to say no because imagine trying to say no to a label who's giving you a house and this is why i always say you know that the enemy loves to attack when people are desperate and or weak because you're the most susceptible to agree to something that you haven't thought about properly or thought about the, the long-term consequences for but guess what they've thought about the long-term consequences see what i mean and so we'll leave that there for today you know i think this is just going to be a really interesting series um as i'm going more and more into this because um, I really feel for her, you know, that she struggled with things like eating disorders. These same weird la label people are the ones telling her, you know, that they think she needs to, they want her to be more healthy. You know, all these weird, creepy stuff, which I talk about in another video um, that I'm going to be speaking about, you know. And her having just that, that her seeing her as an adult talk about herself being a product like it's a normal thing because the industry is just like that is one of the most alarming things because... I say stuff like that and a lot of people say they were treated like a product, which is one thing. But to be in the place where you accept it as though it's such the norm that now we're just accepting it as though it is acceptable is really quite upsetting and scary. And again, I think it's another it's another like symptom of children who've had to mature too quickly and who don't understand the real boundaries of life and what's actually acceptable or not. Because that's a lot of what parenting is about, you know, and not parenting necessarily, sorry, childhood is about is learning boundaries in life learning what's right and what's wrong at what's at certain times you know and so even that process of like um being um a what you call it that process of having to think like that you know and think that that's normal it's because when children don't get a childhood they tend to have a very and this is my observation they tend to have a very wrong version of what's okay and what's what's acceptable and what's unacceptable at particular ages or even just in life in general because nothing has set the tone they haven't had the opportunity properly to understand she was singing she was singing an adult song at 13 and drew barrymore who was out at like parties while she was practically a toddler you know where people were drinking and getting addictions like before at around a similar age do you know what i mean it, it explains why a lot of people just think it's normal and I think that's why a lot of people just continue in the industry because they just believe that's what it is and for me that's the most sad part of all is that we are, we're now in a place where it's just so normal that people just accept like that's just Hollywood you know people say very toxic things like that and so that's why I talk about stuff on this channel so we can start to denormalize right and resensitize a lot of these subject areas you know and also speak up for the people who want to go into the industry you know as well to understand what it's really like out there so that you can avoid these types of pitfalls but anyways like i said i'm going to be talking about this a lot more so definitely check out the jojo playlist um, where i'm going to be posting the videos and of course check out my other videos guys because i post loads of videos on my channel so i'd really appreciate if you guys check those out as well don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe button um, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. And of course, like the video if you did like it. Other than that, God bless you all. And I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye.